few years ago, my friend was giving me a lift from Belfast down to Newcastle to see our other mate's new house. And we went a different way than we'd normally go, through Down Patrick instead of Ballinahinch. And as we rounded a corner on the main road, we both saw this lovely old red brick building right in the roadside and said, that's got to have been a railway station. And it is, or was, at Tully Murray on what was the Down Patrick, Dundrum and Newcastle Railway. This eventually became the BCDR branch to Newcastle. And in many ways, it's quite a grand station for a pretty anonymous location in the middle of nowhere really, but it's got a strong family resemblance to the station houses both at Carnley and Coltraw on the much more hoity-toity Bangor branch. And that's because all three came along in 1897 and were designed by BCDR chief engineer GP Culverwell. And in fact, this is the site of the second Tully Murray station. Now, the first was a few hundred feet closer to Downpatrick, I don't know where, and it served commuters between 1871 and and 1897 whenever the new station came along. And although it does seem to be the middle of nowhere, Tully Murray had one very important role, ferrying troops stationed at the nearby Ballykindler army camp and their equipment to and from Belfast and beyond, at least until 1914 when the camp got its own station. I love this old signal box. It's the only one of its kind on the line, pretty much from the outside as it was, but now used for storage. Uh, I also love that it has a chimney, implying that the signalman would have had a much needed fire to keep him toasty in those harsh black and white windows. Apparently this is where the toilets used to be, which is why you can see the impression of a sloping roof on the wall. Uh, but obviously most of the block was demolished for whatever reason. I think possibly to allow army equipment to be moved in and out of the gateway. If I'm looking up the track back towards Down Patrick, it's kind of hard for me to work out how the railway and the road must have interacted with each other and whether there's a bridge or level crossing uh, so the only solution is to have a look at my old favorite uh, a map so here's the modern day view of the station on google facing north so the road to Downpatrick is on the right and the road to newcastle is sloping off to the left and the station is where i'm moving the cursor right beside the main road now here's a map of the same scene still contemporary and this thing here catches my eye, looks interesting, and I think it might be something railway related. So using the magic of the internet, if I toggle to a map view from the early 1900s, aha, it seems this must have been the bridge that crossed the railway. And apparently the local boys would stand here and see which of them could drop a clod of earth into passing trains funnels. I didn't get any foot to this bit because there's no evidence of the bridge anymore, but it does make sense because the far end of the track bed in the garden of the station house itself is noticeably lower than the road, so presumably just passed under it. In the years since 1950, when, as you probably know by now because I'm constantly complaining about it, the main line and all the stations were closed and the rails were lifted, the main route was obviously realigned to straighten out this kink and widened as well, and is now pretty close to the station house, maybe a bit too close for comfort. And this also had the rather ridiculous effect that the man who lives across the road still technically owns a tiny bit of the grass verge beside the station house. And I'm, I'm really glad that 
whoever bought the station from the Ulster Transport Authority in 1955 has pretty much kept it as it is. Right down to keeping this old swivel crane in the goods yard. and this shed with its distinctive BCDR roof edging. Of all the disused stations on the BCDR, Tully Murray's probably my favourite. It just looks like a railway station. I'd like to say genuine thanks to Diane MacDonald and her family for letting me film and for digging out the old photos of the station, which I hadn't seen before. Uh, tune in next time, wherever I decide to go. This video was supposed to be about Neil's Hill, but when I got permission to film at Tilly Maria, I just had to do that instead. But I'll probably try to go to Neil's Hill for the next one, but I'll make no promises. Uh, regardless of where I end up, it'll be an old station somewhere, and I'll make a video about it, I can promise you that, and I'll see you then.